President Donald Trump took a Washington Post writer to task on Saturday after the reporter posted an inaccurate photo of Trump's Friday rally in Pensacola, Florida. Dave Wiegel, who writes about politics for the Post, tweeted a photo of a largely empty stadium with a quote from Trump, packed to the rafters. Apostrophe, Trump immediately hit back, quickly getting an apology out of Wiegel and demanded that the Washington Post fire him to boot. Trump posted a screen grab of Wiegel's tweet, along with photos of him stood in front of a packed arena. A day of Wiegel at Washington Post put out a phony photo of an empty arena hours before I arrived at Sign the Venue, with thousands of people outside, on their way in, he wrote. Real photos now shown as I spoke. Packed house. Many people unable to get in. Demand apology and retraction from fake news. Waypo. Wiegel responded minutes later, saying he'd been notified of the error by Daily Mail. Comms US political editor, David Martosco, who attended the event. Sure thing. I apologize, he wrote. I deleted the photo after at Martosco told me I'd gotten it wrong. WAS confused by the image of you walking in the bottom right corner. Apostrophe an hour later he tweeted. It was a bad tweet on my personal account, not a story for Washington Post. The corrections came from stories that initially had been damaging to the president, but didn't live up to the scrutiny. Wiegel was previously fired from the Washington Post in June 2010, when messages posted to a private conversation site for journalists were leaked. Apostrophe. He also mocked Ron Paul, leader of the then popular Tea Party, calling it the Paul to Tea Party. Wiegel said the posts had been made before he joined the Washington Post. He returned to the paper in July 2015.